My name is Chris Casbohm. We're at Casbohm Maple and Honey Products here in Albion, Pennsylvania. And we're going to take a look at my sugar bush, which is unique in the fact that it's all roadside maple trees that we rent. We have about 600 taps. And what we're looking at is one of the trees right along our road, Sherman Road. Uh, it's tapped with conventional tubing, but the main line is basically 5 16 tubing running down to a container. Uh, these are pretty conventional 5 16 taps and lines uh, into the trees. This particular run of tubing, I believe there are about 35 taps here. Uh, we rent the trees from the, uh, the community, and uh, this, so this particular uh, family would get two quarts of syrup. Uh, as the rental payment. Uh, these are uh, maples that probably all are averaging 150 to 200 years old are the, are the sugar maples that I'm basically using. We're tapping uh, four, approximately three to four taps per tree. Some of them we have smaller ones, we have two taps in. Uh, again, with the 516 spout, this is really easy. We're seeing really good, we're really good, seeing really good uh, uh, healing on the trees, so these are working real good. These trees are pretty healthy, but some of these old maples are declining. So you can get an idea up the line here. Uh, starts up there, and then basically we have about uh, eight or ten trees here in a line down to a container. I've been tapping this line about 15 years. Uh, it is a very good producer. In fact, it's one of the larger producers on my run. I have 30 of these stations, I call them, or 30 stops that I make along my route. The advantage I have is that these trees are just really, really good producers. And so I've really picked the uh, trees uh, to give me the best, highest quality sugar content and the most sap that I can get. I take, the I take these lines down uh, as quickly as I can after the season so they're not up when they're starting to do yard work. Uh, I try to uh, put them up as late as I can. Uh, this year it was uh, actually a little bit late January. I put them up, which was early for our season, but I needed to get them out of an area, so I put them up, try not to uh, disrupt anything in their yard or whatever. So, uh, in fact, there's one place where I put them up high so they could walk underneath to get to their mailbox. So things like that, I think just think about them as a customer also, will probably help uh, the relationship building. What I do, and right or wrong, is I pay uh, a gallon of syrup for 100 taps. So if they have 25 taps, they're gonna, gonna get a quart of syrup. So that's the ratio that I typically, and I typically try to pay a little more than a little less. And uh, I think people are appreciative of that. So there's some folks that only have 15 taps in the yard and I give them a quart of syrup. So uh, without these trees, I can't have my business. And uh, I, I'm not at the stage where I want to go buy a sugar bush uh, out, in, out in the woods. And so this is the way I'm doing it. It's not for everybody, but the landowners and, and the homeowners seem like they're appreciative of the process.